What's up guys, Son of a Boomer here. Today we are talking about Amend 2 magazines. Let's get to it. Amend 2 is a fairly new company um, to the magazine game. They've been around for a few years now, but uh, there's plenty of companies out there who have been out, who have been making stuff longer. Um, they're based out of Idaho Falls, Idaho. Now, I live up here in Idaho, so I might be a little biased, but I really like the fact that they're made in Idaho. And I own a lot of their uh, products, and I have not had a single failure to feed while using their stuff. So today I kind of wanted to do a little torture test. These magazines, they're pretty cheap. They're like, you can get them for about 10 to $12, I think, most places, um, at least up here. Start out with, now you can see this one's a little bit worn. It's probably my most used mag. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start with a uh, drop test. Five rounds loaded up in here just to check its functionality. So it's survived the throw up in the air and fall down on the ground test. Let's try uh, dumping it in some, in some sand. Try to get as much gunk in there as possible. And then all we gotta do is just take it, shake it out. I'm gonna slap it a couple times. So far running good. There we go. More. There we go. That was a nice solid throw. Oh, that bottom, that base plate is coming off. Let's go take a look. Yeah, all I did right there was I just beat it back in. So this beat is pretty good. All right, we've got 10 more rounds loaded up in here. You can see it's all scuffed up from getting hit in the rock a bunch of times, but I think it's still gonna run. I'm gonna try not to baby it too much. I'm gonna try to just rapid fire, so zero accuracy. Ran fine. Well, it's looking a little worse for wear, but it's been officially ran over now and it's uh, held up pretty good. 10 more rounds. Looks fine. I don't know how I missed that first shot. Oh well, well it's been shot now by a 22. All right guys, so you can see in here where the bullet went in, where it tried to come out. Um, but there's 30 rounds loaded up in it now. Uh, we're gonna see if it works. I'll tell you, it was tough getting them in here. So I don't know, something felt kind of amiss. We'll see. So you guys can tell it is the same mag. Loaded okay. All 30. 
30 rounds just fine. Ah. It's definitely getting pretty, uh, that one hit pretty good. That was just bird shot, by the way. Uh, yeah, it kind of hit it right up here. Just right, right there, it looks like going that way. So not like a direct hit. We can try that again. Here, I'll just put it on the ground and I'll shoot it. Just like that. I'm sorry guys, I accidentally uh, didn't hit the record button. But, but here it is. Oh man. Oh, that's, that's, there's your problem. Oh, bunch of bird shot coming out. That might be donezo guys. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's going to be a fun one. After this, guys, I'm going to be pretty much out of ammo, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll only work No, I better do all 30, because otherwise someone's going to be in the comments. I'm just kidding. I love your comments. Please always comment. I really do actually appreciate you guys commenting, even if it's things that you think I'm doing wrong. It helps me get better. I know I have a lot to work on. Oh man. Yeah, these are, you can see them on the side. Well, it's pretty much just a, you know, one of those see-through mags now. It lets you know how many, how much ammo you got left. So really, this is a vast improvement is what I'm trying to say. Oh man. Yeah, it's bulging. Bulging bad. Oh, man. One more. Maybe it doesn't fit one more. Maybe I, I don't know. I wasn't counting, but that's pretty much 30. That might be only 29. Let me see if I can. I don't think that's gonna do it. You can see though, this is starting to bend. I think the whole thing's just compromised at this point. That's interesting. It's struggling to fit in here now, but it's good now. And it loaded. All right, sorry guys. You can see, um, I just, had to switch my hat backwards because I was having trouble seeing. But you can see it's all still the same. All right, let's keep going. One final shot. Give me one second, guys. I'm still here. I promise I'm not closing anything. Yeah. It's bad when you don't have a cameraman. That was kind of cool. Oh, I guess there's one more. That was. Well, guys. I'm going to say, because I don't have any more ammo, this is a really good mag. Despite everything that it's been through, it's been thrown, it's been kicked, it's been shoved in the dirt. I guess we could do a mud test, but I don't have any more ammo left. I do have at least, at least one, uh, I think one round left. 
That looks like about it. Here, let's throw it in the mud. So in real life, what would you do to change it? Probably do that. Maybe a little dust off at the, at the lip just so you can get your ammo in there. And we'll see if this even, I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more of the test of the rifle than it is the mag at this point. I'm gonna have to clean this out when I get home after this guy. Well, after a little tapping and messing with that and only one round, we were able to get it, but you can see how dirty in there that is so that'll be fun that'll be my project for today let's clean it out my ar anyways guys amend two magazines they come in all different uh capacities you can get them at your local uh, gun store and they're cheap and i think that's the great thing is that they're a cheap reliable um magazine do me a favor if you like this video subscribe like comment if you uh think there was something else i should have done to one of these mags let me know um i can always go and try to do a second torture test but so far this has impressed me guys i think this is really cool so i'll see you next time